This is problem number four from section 3.4. It says a rock thrown vertically upward from the surface of the moon at a velocity of 28 meters per second reaches a height of s equals 28 t minus 0.8 t squared meters and t seconds. Find the rock's velocity and acceleration at time t. So the first thing we want to do is we want to say that s equals 28 t minus 0 0.8 t squared. Let's go ahead and find the velocity, which we know is s prime. That's just going to be 28, derivative of this is just going to be 28, minus, bring the 2 to the front, that's 1.6 t. And now we do the acceleration, which is the derivative of the velocity equation. And that's just going to give you negative 1.6. All right, part A, find the rock's velocity and acceleration at time t. So the rock's velocity, oh, at time t, so the rock's velocity, uh, that's just because they don't give us a time, that's just going to be uh, the equation here. So we're going to say that the two equations, 28 minus 1.6t, that's one answer. So we can say v equals that. And the other answer is going to be a equals negative 1.6. So those are our two answers here for part A. Part B, how long does it take the rock to reach its highest point? So how long does it take the rock to reach its highest point? Well, we know its highest point. If you throw a rock upwards, so remember, We've got a rock, we're throwing it upwards, and its initial speed is 28 meters per second. If you throw a rock upwards, eventually it's gonna start coming down, right? So we'll throw it up. Eventually then it's gonna to start to come down. What's gonna happen between it going upwards and then coming downwards? Well, at the highest point, we're gonna get a velocity that is zero meters per second. So if we find the time when uh, the velocity is zero, that'll be the highest point. So let's go ahead and take the velocity equation and set it equal to zero. So zero equals 28 minus 1.6t. Subtract the 28 over negative 28 equals negative 1.6t. Divide by negative 1.6. So we'll end up with t equals 28 divided by 1.6. That tells us at 17.5 seconds that this is going to occur. So 17.5 seconds, we're gonna really reach the highest point. Part C, how high does the rock go? Well, if it takes 17.5 seconds, and this tells us the position, we can say 28, so we can say S equals 28, times 17.5 minus 0 0.8 times 17.5 squared. Let's do 17.5 squared times negative 0.8 plus 28 times 17.5. And we end up with 245, so we end up with 245, this will be meters. That's the highest uh, the rock goes. Part D, how long does it take the rock to reach half its maximum height? So how long does it take for the rock to reach half the maximum height? So we wanna find half the maximum height, which is 120 or 122.5. So we're gonna say, what's the time to get to 122.5, basically? So 122.5 is S, we're gonna say equals 28T minus 0.8T squared. This is a quadratic, so we're gonna to have to solve this quadratic here. So let's go ahead and uh, subtract the 122.5 over. So we end up with 
negative, let's rearrange this, so it's negative 0 0.8 t squared plus 28t minus 122.5 equals 0. Let's use a quadratic formula, so we're going to go ahead and say that negative, we're going to go t equals negative 28 plus and minus root 28 squared minus 4 times a, which is negative 0 0.8 times c, which is negative 122.5 all over 2 times a negative 0 0.8. Now we're going to do a lot of calculator work here. So negative 4 times negative 0.8 times negative 122.5. And then we're going to do plus 28 squared. So we end up with negative 28 plus and minus root 392 here all over negative 1.6. Let's go ahead and do the root. We get 19 point, we'll go 19.80. So we have negative 28 plus and minus 19.80 over negative 1.6. So we're going to go ahead and say that we've got two options here. We've got negative 28 plus 19.8 over negative 1.6. And then or we have uh, negative 28 minus 19.8 over negative 1.6. So let's start with negative 28 plus 19.8 divided by negative 1.6. That's going to give us a time of 5.125. And let's do the other side. So negative 28 minus 19.8 <clears throat> divided by negative 1.6 or 29.875. Now one thing to note here, our height, our max height happened at 17.5 seconds. So we're getting two times. Remember we are throwing the ball or the, the rock up and then it comes back down and we're looking for you know half the maximum height which is like right here. Well, the rock's going to hit that point on the way up, and then it'll hit it on the way down. And 17.5 is right between these two times. So this is the time on the way up. This is the time on the way down. And they want us to know how long does it take the rock to reach half its maximum height. They're talking on the way up. So our answer to this question would be T equals 5.125 seconds. And then also, I guess, uh, you could say that on the way down, it reaches its maximum height again. So this is way up. And then you could also put in there that T equals 29.875 seconds. And then just mark that this is the way down. Because technically, you could answer both of these as your answer. They don't tell you on the way up, I guess. The assumption would be on the way up. Part E, how long is the rock afloat? So how long is the rock in the air total? So let's go ahead and uh, figure that out. We need to know essentially when the, we wanna know when the distance is zero. So I, like it, if we look at the, the height essentially being zero with this equation, we can figure out the total time here. So let's go ahead and say that zero equals 28 T minus 0 
t squared. I have a quadratic, but I can factor t out. So I get 0 equals t, 28 minus 0 0.8 t. And then that means time is 0, which obviously makes sense because the height of this rock is going to be 0 at time 0, right? We haven't thrown it yet. Or 28 minus 0 0.8 t equals 0. So we can go ahead and solve this. 28 equals 0 0.8 t divided by 0 0.8 on each side. And you're going to get t equals, so 28 divided by 0 0.8, 35 seconds. So how long is it afloat? Well, you're going to take 35 seconds minus 0 seconds, which is 35 total seconds because that was start to finish. The two heights, right? The height of zero, it's gonna happen at the beginning, which is at time zero, and it's gonna happen at the end, which is time, 35 seconds. So 35 seconds is the time that it flew.